Eh? What's going on? Um, you know, I've noticed, uh, with, uh, uh, just recently as well, dude, it's like, uh, today I, I've, I've seen that, like, up in Canada, there's, like, fires going on, like, it, like, look, there's just weird stuff going on right now, okay? I've watched the weather in Michigan, it, it, it'll come in like this, from this direction, and then it'll freaking come back from the other direction the next day. It's like somehow they're bouncing like ping pong, the rain back and forth over us, over and over and over again, it's, it's freaking insane. Um, but, it's like, I don't think this stuff is actually, there's a lot going on here, like look, as far as like, there's these things called a solar minimum, a solar maximum, which means that's the strength of the UV rays that is coming out of the sun, basically, and the radiation. And it has effect on the Earth, like uh, with seismic activity and other, possibly the weather and uh, like uh, atmospheric pressure, uh, prevailing winds, uh, the temperature of the ocean, uh, earthquake activity. Uh, it also could potentially put, it could be sending off a frequency that's like harmful or, or gives you, like when you got a real bad feeling about this, like as if there's just a open portal of this kind of weird energy coming in and you just don't know what it is and you can't put your finger on it, but it could be affecting like everybody all across the board and unknown and the whole environment, the trees, the animals, the freaking water, the air, uh, but Basically, uh, this volcano has been going off for like freaking two weeks. Like, and it would seem to me, seems to be pretty big and pretty freaking, you know, like detrimental of a, of a situation. Like, uh, the people over there are like, their eyes burn from the smoke. And, uh, you know, I'd imagine it would be pretty hazardous. And, uh, but anyway, when it comes to volcanoes, right? Volcanoes literally can can make a mini ice age or you could make create a 40 year window that throws off the freaking seasons like they say oh greenhouse effect greenhouse gas well this thing's releasing greenhouse gas so it's like it or it's also like look it's it's opening up freaking methane pockets and all this other sulfuric gases are coming up and this freaking basically creates also creates freaking acid rain that's i mean at least that's what they used to tell us back in the day the environmentalists did um and it's literally there's something called like nuclear winter i mean a, a volcano can create a period of a nuclear winter type of a, a situation so actually and look from knowing this putting particulates in the sky has never cooled their uh, look or putting particulates in the sky freaking can cause a freaking mini ice age but at the same time, it could actually also cause a freaking greenhouse effect, which was like, in my greenhouse, even though the direct sunlight wasn't getting in there, but because the air was trapped in there, and it was only letting the strongest UV light actually get through, and if you actually went and sat in there for a few minutes, you'd like feel like slumping over, but... There's massive amount of like toxins that are coming out and also a global darkening to an extent. And the weather's been really weird. The sky's been really weird. Really strange colored sky. <coughs> also, freaking lungs feel like crap ever. And it seems like it coincided with the freaking, um, the day that the freaking volcano blew up that is like just lungs feel like crap you know what i'm saying like look not coughing up blood or anything but they just you can feel it like an itchy kind of like uh unpleasant kind of feeling and it's like it's just that shit's just going around everywhere because i mean it normally happens every every year seasonally anyway but look it just seems like it was right on in sync with this freaking volcano and just you can see it just going around and no one's coughing up blood or anything, but you know, nobody's falling over in the streets, but you know what I mean? Um, 
So, it's kind of weird, man. Like, uh, you know, uh, and it'd be like, if we had a mini ice age, you know how quickly the frickin' glaciers would, would grow back up? Like, these things, look, you could have a whole Antarctica in the right circumstances built in a year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or a 10-year period. It doesn't take billions. This happened over billions of years. As if somebody was there and can confirm that. It's like, according to our estimates and to our carbon dating techniques, that, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, look, I don't know. But this is real-time empirical experience that are learning by living through it. So, <clears throat> and they've been freaking, like, telegraphing. And like foreshadowing and like giving the soft disclosure of the dark winter. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it, it seems like it, it, could, uh, it could happen with this type of a situation going on. On top of the, let's say just with the chemtrail program, with the geothermal engineering, uh, you know, that because they've already put so many particulates in and all the lithium that, you know, they've been spraying up in there to, to, you know, to cause people to be, uh, like, passive and docile that mixed, like, with the floor, that mixes in with the fluoride from the water. And it's just a cocktail of, you know, uh, of a, it's just a, it's a chemical mind F. But, you know, by them tampering with that, with the unforeseen freaking um, volcanic eruption, right? And literally, this can literally dim the sky for, like, for a hundred years. Like, certain of these. Not saying this one's going to, but it, it they, it's going to have an effect. And it's like when the witch trials were going on, or there was this freaking, there was a village in France who all of a sudden just busted out and was freaking weird they had this like flock of syndrome and it's like they're trying to figure it out and they're wondering if it was something called a there's this stuff that happens called an ergot infestation basically this ergot is 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 similar substance to what they make lsd out of so it basically has hallucinogenic effects and what it comes from is moisture like this like that constant them blowing the storms back and forth over Michigan, you know, for like weeks at a time. Um, and uh, the mold, the mildew, there's this particular kind of, in certain kinds of cereal crops and food crops, you get this ergot infection, and basically like one kernel in the whole freaking like, in, in the pot of seed or whatnot, will be infected with this, and it gets crushed up, and you get little trace amounts in the food and then it kind of goes through a chemical process where it makes this batch of like unrefined LSD that can really ha you can have some really psychotic episodes and um and it can trigger like mass pandemonium and hysteria and like mass genocidal homicidal murder and I and I bet you these things uh, coincide in history unknowingly to history because it's kind of like history repeats to those who don't learn from it or what not, but, anyway, we are looking at, the, like, potentials like this, because, you know, I go out and hunt mushrooms, and this is an excellent climate for mushrooms, like, the, and mushrooms, are, like, cleans up decay, like, basically, it, they, uh, it, they, they really, really, like, do the finishing touches on, like, uh, organic material, so, in it, but it's, like, to be in a fungal kind of environment, like if you're in black mold, this will also increase. And this also has health effects. Like mold infection, infestation, can also cause hallucinogenic, <coughs> schizophrenic, freaking type uh, episodes. Like some kind of real deliriousness. So, it's like with the dimming and less sunlight, sunlight is what kills freaking the mold but also at the same time with the with the with the freaking at sometimes with the having the the 
the freaking uh, greenhouse effect, that hot, wet, dark climate is the perfect environment for molds and fungus. And these, they're basically like little parasites, freaking in a way. They're, it's another symbiotic, but some symbionts are actually more parasitic, but you can, uh, I don't know, it fluctuates. Like face fungus is just jock itch on your face from having it covered up too much. But basically, my skin is like, just like feeling like, like crap today. Like, like really like crap. And it almost feels like a, a slight acidicness to it, dude. Like, and I've been out running around in this mist all day. Freaking, uh, dealing with the, or looking for mushrooms, right? But lithium is what's used in a freaking battery, dude. Lithium battery. So, I mean, it's like literally with the sulfuric freaking atmospheric runoff from the freaking volcano mixed with the lithium dumps and the lead in the water with mixed with mixed in with the freaking uh the uh fluoride which is also a main it's also rat poison and also prozac freaking uh you know mixed with the fucking the the aluminum lithium mix in the in the, in the bunker fuel i mean it's just freaking like dude we are just getting Everything in the kitchen sink. Uh, with the chems, dude. With the sorcery. Like, literally. you Look, chemistry is is one of its forerunners, literally, was alchemy, which is all associated with magic and occultism. And this is why, because it makes sense. Because people, they go insane from the chems, and they try to kill everybody with their freaking chemicals in, in search of the fountain of youth. I mean, it's like, look. That's kind of just, you know, like, a, I'm paraphrasing it there. But look, dude, it's ridiculous. And we got a whole lot of that going on. You know what I'm saying? In the refinement process. In the furnace. You know what I'm saying? Like the freaking La Palma. La, 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 la Palma. I got acid rain. I feel it on my face now. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. Uh, and I could only imagine what it's like there. But. But I seen somebody else, and they were like, man, my skin feels like crap. And it's like, so does mine. And I'm like, I'm wondering if anyone else is feeling the that kind of strange, kind of acidic tingle. Freaking, uh. But, yeah, I, I, I'm wondering what the long-lasting effects of this is going to be. And uh, if that's anything to do with why the sky makes them crazy colors, you know, at sunset. And this strange atmospheric looking phenomena where the sky kind of looks just like a strange kind of strange kind of hazy. All these weird storms that blow back and forth like a ping pong ball across the, you know, across Michigan. So, and uh, also with people getting very like hostile and just insane in the brain. It's like, it's like the freaking, uh, they've been, they've been eat, eating ear get already. But, and yeah, no, and basically also the irrigant poisoning also can lead to like, like straight up mass death because it's basically it's bad for your guts. Guts are your immune system. So all of a sudden you'll start to, that's how a plague happens. Freaking, because, but the cause where you blamed it on germs, it was a combination of fungal attack, which made your body weak and susceptible to the germs. You know what I'm saying? And um, these are times where people have like like crazy religious fervor, where people are like really having visions to you know, and really coming up with some real like new spin on old mystery religion, blood sacrifice and freaking world domination type stuff. Freaking, um, so I mean I don't know. That was a lot of just kind of. You know of my fucking speculations there on some of this stuff and but oh my gosh there was a freaking freaking possum man get, uh. <laughs> anyway man freaking yeah there's there's definitely some connection to it all and uh i'm i'm gonna be watching in the future to see if any of these uh concepts or happenings start to reemerge and reappear in in the modern time